At least you figured out the problem. True, but it shouldn't have been a problem. <laughs> if you weren't colorblind? I'm not even colorblind. That's the f***ing sad thing. <laughs> Maybe. An idiot. Just blame it on your colorblind, dude. Just say that. I can f***ing guarantee you it won't happen again. If anyone's wondering, Tanner is just finding out right now he's colorblind and he's incredibly upset about it. I can't fly a plane! No, <laughs> it's okay. You can fly a drone. I can't fly a plane! You can fly a drone. That's not a plane! Oh, that's okay. Oh, I hate door converters. They're stupid. Why not buy manuals? I mean, I know I didn't buy a manual for this one. Because this car was like $500. <laughs> but why didn't, I buy, why didn't I buy a manual for like Chewy? I get to do this multiple times and pull everything out and, and try and figure that out. It's getting really old. I thought you liked her. No, I hate doing this. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not good at this at all. And I hate this part of everything. It's, so. Well, the engine, putting the engine's in easy. It's just this fucking torque converter. I don't know automatics. Yeah. If I knew automatics, I'd be all over it. I don't know shit about it. See, I know automatics. I just don't fuck with them. You ask me what a torque converter does, I can't fuck like with them. Like, I, I get automatic. automatics. I've had to learn automatics because of these two cars and building Chewies and. All that shit. You but... ask me what a high stall torque converter does, Matt? I don't <laughs> fucking know. Yeah. I don't know what a normal one does. Yeah. Well, they're not fun. Regardless, they're not really that cool. There's no, certain things just... you'll have. You'll have the so with the 5EAT crew, and not say it on the 5EAT crew because I am one of them. Yes. Um, but you will have people that are like, automatics, shift faster than you're capable of shifting, and then it's like, uh, okay, but. You know, not again, not to hate on anyone. I'm one of those guys. Happen to be one of those guys. Are you but, one of those guys? But that one's going to get swapped. This one's not going to get swapped because I don't want to do it twice. Uh, or not so much that I don't want to do it twice. I don't want to uh, pay for it twice. Um, but yeah, if, if you're able to have a car shift faster, that's all great. And holding boost through gear is kind of cool. Um, not as much fun. It's not, it's not as like. Not as engaging. Exactly. It's it's not as much of a driving experience, uh, and at the same time, you can't do cool shit with it. You can't like dump the clutch and blow up your transmission in front of a crowd of people and then walk out of your car and cry. So that's you know that'd be a positive side of a manual. You can blow your car up by clutch dumping it at six thousand RPMs. Burnout. Do sick burnouts and other stuff. But anyways, the uh, purpose of this video, welcome back, is to get this son of a gun. Bitch. Son of a bitch. Into that lovely little dude over there. Uh, but first, I'm going to go hop on STIS. I'd love a cheeseburger. I'm gonna hop on a, a STIS and figure out how the hell to get a torque converter back in a car because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'll explain what that is. Some people probably don't know what STIS is. Oh, STIS is the Subaru Technical Information System. Where we get all like our- If I rem remember correctly. That is a, uh, it's a Subaru thing and luckily I have access to it. I'll catch you guys back in like two seconds when I magically have the information to know what to do. I'll be out of here. Ah, yes. Let me show you how knowledgeable I have become. Not at all, cause it doesn't tell me anything. What? It doesn't tell me anything. Really? Apparently, when the oil pump shaft is removed, install the shaft to the torque converter. Uh, and just make sure the clip is firmly inserted. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and just pull it out of there and we're gonna hope it goes well. And if it doesn't, then uh, we're gonna just swap this one too and give up. I don't know, let's see how it goes. We're gonna try and use needle nose pliers. God damn it, Matt. Oh, we're gonna be careful. Let me, oh, God damn it, myself. Tanner. <laughs> ah. Tanner, can you get me a magnet? Actually, I don't have a magnet that's gonna be that close. If I want to waste all my money on a goddamn Subaru, I'm gonna waste all my money on a goddamn Subaru. I feel like that's kind of both of our life plans right now. Not a bad life plan. We could be doing, we could be doing heroin. This is true. I think that's more expensive. I don't too. really have a good way to get this out of here. Ow! Do you have a skinny like magnet? I like one of the ones that are on the top of a pin? No. Nope. No. Oh shit. Get back. Hmm? Is that a... What is that? 
rolling rod. <laughs> oh, I was like, what the? Is I that a magnet? Devil. Oh, God. That's the longest magnet I've ever seen. Um, okay, you're going to be friends with that somehow. Please, God. All right, this is a videoception ah. right now. Um, the best thing I can say is I finagled it for several minutes to hours and it came out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! We got the shaft out! That is our dude that we've been trying to get out. Why do you suck? Why do you suck? There's no face here. That's our dude. That's the guy we wanted. It floats in there. Yeah. Little shafty boy. Yeah, Goes in that way. Boom. Now I gotta get this attached back to the torque converter snout. So, hold up. Alright, so there's a groove right here. If this ever happens to anyone else with a 5EAT, you get a groove right here. You're supposed to have the snap ring in there. You get to pull it closed and then it snaps open where this little tab is right here. I don't know if you can see on the torque converter, they have similar looking guys, but this one is just like a square. And this one's a square with two little indentations. So that's where these little prongs are gonna go. So I just have to find a way to snap these in. We can see, yeah, that's as close as you're gonna get, guys. There you go. Oh yeah. There you go. Did you get your shaft out? I got the shaft. We just got shafted. Now what? Now I gotta put it all back in. Oh, good job. Should I take this ball? And to think I thought I was just gonna start this video off by just throwing an engine in a car and calling it good, but no, the world wanted me to show you guys more stuff. Okay. These are the same on both sides. I'm gonna use a flashlight, find out where this tab is so I'm not wasting a whole bunch of time with it. So I can line that up and then there is, if you haven't seen the torque converter, let me show you something real quick. So inside the torque converter, you can see the teeth for like the uh, um, first pair, I wanna say it's a stator. And then the inner lockup, it's further down in there. So I can aim that a little more. Yeah, so now you can see both sets of teeth. So I can line this guy up. Uh, then as I push it on, I have to line the first setup, spin it a little bit, and line the inner setup because it's got inside of here the stator and everything that spins and then pushes and locks up over time. That's how a torque converter does a thing. Uh, and that makes doing this really suck. There's like four grooves it fits in and they're currently in a 12 o'clock. And Six o'clock position. We're going to pre-align this by rotating that a little bit. Hey right, guys, another video section. Uh, so this part took literally forever, and we wound up. Uh, well, I wound up after getting everything aligned for the most part, uh, going in there and just smacking it on with a mallet. So. That's honestly probably the easiest way. How far were you before? That's on. Are you good? Yeah, it went off. Go! Oh. So we're Gucci. Oh, okay. I think so. Yeah, we're good. Go! Oh. Cool. Okay. Take it back off. Cool. Smack it with a fucking hammer. Mallet, not hammer. Use a mallet. Oh my god. We're not liable for any damages you do to your car if you use a hammer. Correct. When you get the torque converter in. Oh my god. When you get the torque converter in. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you know it's in if the face of right here and the face of right here have a difference between each other protruding out of no more than eight millimeters. So we know that's in, we can move to step two, which is putting the engine in. I'm tired. Tanner found out his problem. He had what, cylinder eight? Yeah, this is cylinder eight, which is supposedly yellow and gray, but that looks like yellow and light brown. Yeah. Oh, I can't even focus that close. Yeah, it's cylinder eight wired up instead of cylinder five. five yeah. 
They need different colors. You can't use two cl colors that are close to each other. Is, it, is yeah. it supposed to be yellow and gray? Yeah, it's supposed to be yellow and gray. Oh, it looks but kind of brownish gray, though. That's what I'm saying. That's why I thought it was yellow okay, and brown. Yeah, that looks yellow and brown. Like, like there's a, there's not, that's not straight gray. That's not. Yeah. I feel like that's a, that's an easy mistake to make. I know, right? <laughs> well, at least you found out the problem. Like, even in we light. might We might actually be able to get this son of a bitch running. No, we, I need a coil pack. Let's get you a coil pack. I bought one, it shipped, but it probably won't be here till like Wednesday or Thursday. God dang it. But if somebody has a coil pack local. Anyone has a Haltech coil pack? It doesn't even matter. I'm going to have this video up after you have it anyways. Dude, how, how am I hurting myself on everything? Okay, so we got this whole thing put together. We've got it on the lift. All we have to do is just throw it in at this point. I found bolts. Always good to have bolts before you start doing this. You're not scrambling to find them afterwards. That's true. And we got the little cover on there. I have the transmission jacked up enough to be able to slide that under. So now all we gotta do is throw this bad boy in there. Right. This fucking kindergarten. So, all right, guys, we got an engine in here now. We do. Pretty exciting. Um, I'm probably gonna cut this one short because I want to actually try and get some sleep tonight, get up, and keep working on this thing tomorrow, so I can bring you guys more content on it. Uh, but yeah, Tanner figured out his problem today while I've been in here working on this. Uh, sorry, I haven't had a lot of talking in this video. I've just been trying to get this thing done so we can get this back on the road for you. You got it done. So, yeah, engine's back in the car. We got everything hooked up, got the flex oh, plate you got back it all on. bolted on too. Yeah, everything's all bolted up. Uh, I might take off like the accessories and stuff and clean them because they look like shit compared to the engine. Should we go for a test but, drive? But, a test drive? Yeah. You wanna push it Flintstone style? Hey, we can push both of these. <laughs> but that is all I've got for you guys in this one. Um, I'm gonna get up early and try and get this, uh, get this knocked out some more for you, so. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good one. And that's all I got. Oh, and ring that bell. Ding dong. Make it say ding dong, motherfucker. Ding dong. Ding dong, motherfucker. Ding dong. And keep watching. Bing bong. We're gonna try and make this not so boring. See you later. Bing bong. <laughs>